Hi, writers. I'm here with Ranger today and so excited to write with you. Thank you, Ranger. Ranger and I were excited because, and happy too, we got, they got new collars. Can you see their new collar? And they came in the mail and we've been waiting a long time for the mail to come. You know, each day we watch for the mail because it's, it's just something that comes to the house and then we have to leave it outside for a while, but it's exciting. And that's sort of something different about this time when we're all inside because of COVID-19. And I thought, boy, maybe we should do some writing about, about life right now so we can remember it and capture it. Just let me share my screen with you and show you what some kids are making. Max sent me this poem and look at what Max did. He wrote a poem about the coronavirus and you know, got his feelings out in this poem about missing school and how furious he is about this and missing his friends. And then look what this student did, just wrote about how sad he or she is about sports and wanted sports and is worried about other people who love competition as well. These were such important entries. When I saw these and I thought about my own writing, I thought we should write a little bit about what's happening while we're all inside um, with this virus going on. And so I was talking to my friend, Mrs. B, and she's been making videos about keeping a COVID-19 journal, right? So it's like a journal of what we're feeling and happening. And I thought we could try a little bit of that. So today, what I'm gonna have you do is watch Mrs. B's lesson. I learn a lot from Mrs. B and watch what she teaches and then let's both try it. Like I watched it and I'm gonna make in my journal, I'm gonna try one of the strategies she tries and I'm hoping that you'll try one too. And then when we get together again, we can see what we each created because it's important writers that during this time that's hard, writing helps us get our feelings out. And also we're gonna to wanna to remember this time in our lives because people, who are much younger than we are someday are gonna ask us about it. And it'll be good to have something written down to remember, just like those two kids did. You're gonna see Mrs. B's recording right, right next after you listen to me. So before you play it, stop the video, get a piece of paper or a notebook or a journal so you're ready and something to write with or you can be writing on a digital device. And let's watch Mrs. B Hi kids, it's Mrs. B. I'm super excited to be able to come to you today via this video and talk to you about the journals that you're keeping while we are away from each other, while we're all away from school. Um, I don't know about you, but I really miss being in school and seeing all of you. Um, if you um, don't see me all the time in your school, know that I'm one of the reading and writing teachers at, um, for the Lincoln Public Schools. And so I'm really excited to be able to share this video with um, kids all across um, the district. So one of the things that, um, as you know, you've been asked to do is to keep this journal while we're away. And I think your teachers all rolled that out and explained that to you last week. I wanted to come to you today and talk to you a little bit about some of the different types of things that you can do in your journals. I've been keeping a journal of my own and I know that some days I have lots and lots of things to write about and other days I kind of have more of a, hmm, what could I write about today? So I thought I would just give you kind of a little menu of ideas and then I'll choose one at the end of our time together and then um, after we say goodbye, I'll write it. And then the next time you uh, tune into a video, I'll share my writing with you and we can choose another thing that we could write about in our journals. Okay, sound like a good idea? So our, what we're gonna do is things you can write in a journal because you can all come up with great ideas about things to write about. Um, and we just really wanna capture this moment in time because this is such a different time in history than I think actually that anyone in our lifetime has ever gone through. So we want to capture those things. So the first kind of thing that I like to write about when I'm thinking about my journal is I write about details about my day. Just the like the little bits of, you know, whether I went outside and went for a walk, whether I had a Zoom call with my family, whether I had a meeting, whether I made something, 
really cool that day and I wanted to write it down. Those, those are the kind of entries, like details of your day. Another type of thing I'm learning that I like to do in my journal is I like to write how to's. And sometimes I'm learning how to do things while I'm home that are a little bit different than the things um, I was doing before I was at home um, and when I would go into school every day. For example, one of the things I learned how to do is I learned how to make a document camera out of cans of beans and my cell phone. Do you want to see it? See that right there? Okay. I think I might actually do a little bit of writing about a how-to about exactly how I did that. Okay. Something else that you might want to write in your journal is something new that you're learning. Um, I learned something new about a plant that I was walking in the woods and I saw this plant. I didn't know what it was. I came home, I looked it up, and I learned all about skunk cabbage. Okay. Um, I also learned that some parts of skunk cabbage are edible and some parts of skunk cabbage are poisonous. So uh, on making skunk cabbage into a tasty snack. Another thing you might want to do while you're home um, is write some reviews. And this is where you could think about the opinion writing that you've been doing, where you have a big, bold idea about something, and then you back up your big, bold idea or your opinion with evidence. You might want to write some reviews about some of the TV shows that you're watching, or video games that you're playing, or books, ding, books that you're reading. And I know that in my house, there's definitely been a lot more screen time um, than in the past, so reviews can be really great things to write. I'm also feeling like I'm having a lot of feelings these days, and sometimes I'm having a lot of feelings in the same day. I might feel happy and sad, um, or you know, really excited and worried. I'm feeling all of those things kind of at the same time, sometimes or throughout the course of my day. And so writing my feelings in my journal can sometimes be a really great thing. Oh, my document camera, my phone went to sleep. Um, writing about my feelings can be an interesting thing, okay? I'm also thinking, I haven't done this yet, but I'm thinking it might be really cool to write some letters in my journal. And I'm thinking about writing letters to my future self, like, dear Mrs. B in 20 years, you're going to want to remember that on this day, blah, 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 something that's really unique about what's happening to me in this moment in time. And if you're a kid, you are gonna be really interested to look back at this time. You could write a letter to yourself and put that in your journal. So cool. You could also write a letter to someone else and you could put that in your journal. And maybe when you um, see them again, you could give it to them or you could take a photo of it and you could send it to them or you could write it and you could ask your parents for an envelope and a stamp and you could mail it to them. Another thing that I like to do in my journal is sometimes I like to make lists lists of things that I can't wait to do when we get back to school. Um, boy, am I going to be glad to see everyone. Um, books that I want to get out of my office, or I might make lists of movies that I want to watch, or games that I want to play, just all kinds of lists. I'm a, I love lists. I love them. Um, another thing that you can do is you can write poetry in your journal sometime. And sometimes when you're out and about or just doing things in your day, um, you'll start to get a little idea and you can develop that in a poem. I did that in my journal already about mud on a day when I went tramping through the mud and went slipping and sliding around. Okay, So I'm going to make a series of these little videos and your teacher may share some of them with you about how I could do all of these things in my journal. And I can do them in a journal that I'm typing on and keeping on my computer. I can also do them in a paper journal. Either one is completely fine. You might even do a paper journal and sometimes take photos of it and then put them into the electronic journal so that you can share them more easily um, with your teachers and they can see what's going on. I know I would love to see your journals. I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go with this how-to idea and I'm going to write down all the steps that I went through to learn how to make my document camera because I was really proud of myself for figuring that out. And that is something that I definitely want to be able to look back on and want to remember. So maybe you'll choose a how-to today and then we can share, you can share them with me another time. But regardless of what you choose, I do hope that you're writing in your journal and that you're capturing this really unique moment in time. And I hope that I'll get to see those journals and all of you very soon. Bye writers.